Hi, well, here we are again. Uh, this is my old Hornby R150, which I got out of the second hand shop as a non runner not that long ago. I've already done a video on it. Um, I've had to do a lot of work in this. It's been, you know, it's really noisy locomotive. I've tried new bearings, new gears, um, you know, everything I possibly could to try and make it quiet. And uh, it was still really loud and uh, didn't run too well either. Just, you know, not a very smooth runner at all. Um, so I've done something to it, which I'll show you in a minute, but let's just see how this runs now. So as you can hear, that's running quite quiet. Um, let's just back it up. So that's running really nice. So what have I done to it? I'll show you. So as part of my quest to try and make this thing quieter, I was raking through eBay uh, looking for old XL4 and XL3 motors, you know, just to try and maybe get some parts together. And, uh, you know, they're getting not hard to get these motors, but hard to get one in decent condition. Um, but I came across this. Let me get this off. Yeah, I've got a Type 7 motor in there. Um, let me just take this out and I'll show you what I got off eBay. I have no idea where this has come from. Um, it was just listed as a XO3 oblique XO4 motor replacement or a direct replacement. Um, let's just get this out without disconnecting anything. So there it is. This is a, a mounting frame for a Type 7 motor that fits into a chassis uh, that's you know been designed for an XO3 or XO4 motor. And I've never seen one before and I've never seen another one. This is the only one I saw. This cost me about 12 quid. Um, but what a brilliant thing. Uh, I mean, I would always want to try and get the original motors to work but uh, you know I think with some of these old XO3s and XO4s you're kind of fighting a losing battle with some of them I think something you just have to admit defeat and uh, that's what I've done with this one when I saw this I thought well I'll try that we'll, we'll, we'll stick a Type 7 in and see if this actually works um, you know as well as the the motors Type 7 motor there you also have to replace the you know it's a different worm obviously and the drive gear has to be replaced as well. So um, this came with a Type 7 motor, but didn't have any worm or, or drive gear. So I had to buy the, the, the worm and drive gear separately and uh, fitted it all together and it works a treat. So I'm thinking this looks fairly commercially made. You know, this isn't something that somebody's cobbled up in a, a machine shop somewhere. Um, so I, I suspect Maybe somebody will, will, will know, but you know, I, I suspect Hornby, um, during a sort of crossover period from the XL3 motor into the Type 7 motor, um, instead of you know redesigning all the chassis, they just bung the Type 7s in with this mount. Um, so I'd be very interested to know, you know if anybody knows which locomotives had these, um, or if anyone, anyone knows anything about these. I would love to get a few more because, as I say, that's a great option if you cannot get, you know, an old XL3 or XL4 quiet, would be to replace it with a Type 7 using one of these. I'm actually thinking it might be possible to make one of these. It wouldn't have to be quite as, you know, perfectly sculpted as all this. It just needs to hold the motor um, in the right position and right angle. So I'm thinking maybe just, you know, a bit of stripped brass, a bit of drilling, a bit of filing might be able to make something that would, would do the same job. So I might experiment with that. Anyway, I'm going to pop this back in. And uh, the next job now, now that I've actually finally got delivery of paint, is to paint up these wheels. I'll need to clean them and uh, paint them up and make a wee whistle for there. Right, let's put this back together just now though. So 
there's my old Hornby R150 running quite nicely now with, with a Type 7 motor. Um, yeah, very interesting. I need to see if I can get another one of those uh, mounts or possibly make one. Anyway, as I say, next job on this is uh, repaint the wheels and make a whistle and touch up the paintwork a bit here and there in the body as well. Right, okay, catch you later folks.